There's my final favorites video. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm just filming it right after the uh, complexion and bronzer one. Um, but we're gonna pretend that it's a different day. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be talking about my favorite lip products and my favorite eye products of 2023. So all of these are going to be new to me in 2023. Um, we're not doing this by like old favorites or like products that I'm continually using. I'm doing this 2023 favorite series based on makeup that came into my life um, in the year of 2023 that really stuck out to me. So these are my like new to me favorites of the year. Um, because I could have really had so many lip products and I could have had so many eye products. So I really like honed it in and kind of culled the list in a way. So these are the ones that stuck out to me that were new to my collection. And let's just get into it, because I got a lot to talk about. Let's start with lips. This year has been the year of the tinted lip gloss. The tinted lip balm for me. Uh, hasn't been very many like bullet lipsticks. And if they were like lipsticky, they were more of like a balm kind of tint-ish kind of formula. No like matte full coverage like I'm wearing right now. Um, this is actually the first matte full coverage lip that I've worn in a long time and I, I quite like it. It's the Armani something. Anyways, so let's talk about lip liners. I have two. Uh, the first one is the Tower 28 Multi Liner in the shade Work of Art. This is really gorgeous, kind of nudie, nudie brown, and it does everything that I want a lip liner to do. It, you know, sets down, but there is a lot of time and for workability. Um, so it blends out, you can put it all over the lip and use it as a lipstick and just put some balm over it. Or you can really like line your lips and know that it's gonna set down and hold the shape. The next one is by Makeup Forever and this is their Artist Color Pencil and this is in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. It's a very, uh, you know, like pretty much identical <laughs> shade. Um, and it's the same thing. Like if you wanna line your lips and have a harsh line, you can trust that that line is gonna be there because it's gonna set down. But it also has that creaminess where you can blend it out and make a really beautiful soft look with this. Um, I think that these are really good formulas and I really, really like them and I've used them so much this year. Let's get into the glosses. Tower 28 Lip Jelly. My favorite one is Chill. It's just the regular schmegular clear one. I find this formula so long lasting. Not goopy, not sticky tacky. It's just like this like jelly that goes over your lips and they look so plump and lush and juicy. And on top of that, it's like super hydrating. And my lips feel better when I wear this than any other glosses or like lip oils. I, I'm, I'm learning about myself that I don't really like a lip oil. I don't like them. I'm a, I'm a glossy girl, a hydrating glossy lady. Next hydrating product is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I have a few shades of this, but my favorite and most used is Vanilla Beige. It's this kind of like chocolatey, like kind of chocolatey beigey color. And it just blends out and makes like such a beautiful appearance to the lips. And if anything, like your lips feel better after you wear it or during wearing. And you know, it, you can make it sheer or you can kind of build it up so you have more of that like beigey, nudie, brownie kind of hot chocolate color. Um, and yeah, I, I highly recommend these. I think these are really worth the hype. They're definitely, you know, like, you know, that cool girl kind of makeup from the internet, but I think that these are really, really good. Okay, getting into more of like lipstick, kind of traditional bullet lipstick territory. Um, if you're not new here, you know about my love affair with Gucci's Sheer, Katrin Sands, mm. Mm. and the intoxicating scent and the beautiful packaging. I haven't used this on camera in a while, but it doesn't mean that my love affair has stopped. You know, it's just been a little more behind closed doors. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful rose shade um, that has just enough rose, just enough brown, 
just gorgeous sheer formula. It's hydrating, it's not slippy slidey, it stays on the lips for a long time, and I just think it's perfect. It's so perfect, and this is definitely a lipstick that like, if it goes off slash if I use it up, um, I would, I'm definitely gonna repurchase it. Like, it's one of my favorite, favorite lipstick formulas ever. Ever. I love it. Okay, let's switch things up a bit and talk about a lip palette. This is by Le Fien Rouge, and this is their uh, lip palette in the shade Signature. You get a beautiful red, a kind of like brownie nude, a berry, and kind of like a combination of berry and brown. Um, I think this is great. I use this as both a lip product and a cheek product. I use this as both a lip product and a cheek product. I think it works beautifully both ways. It's this really, really cool formula where it's a cream, but it also like blends out like a powder at the same time. Like it's super, super interesting. I adore this so, so much. It wears beautifully on the lip. It's matte. Um, without being drying or kind of getting kind of cruddy on your lips. I just think this is so good. It's such a good, good palette. I reach for it so much and yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, going back to bullet lipsticks, this next product I bought for myself in Ireland on my birthday, and this is the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm in the shade Natural Charm. Um, it's number 914. It's a beautiful, like, I, you know, it's a favorites video. I'm just gonna say it. It's a beautiful, like for everything, but it's a beautiful balmy nude. It's kind of like this brownie, kind of brownie color, you know? I Nothing new here, it's a, it's a brownie. I love brown makeup. I love brown. Brown is my favorite tone of makeup. This is a gorgeous formula. When I first tried it, I was kind of unsure, but then the more I used it, it's almost like I unlocked its emollients. And yeah, I find it super beautiful, super hydrating. It wears a long time. It's super flattering on the skin. Or it's super flattering for my coloring. And yeah, I reach for this so much. Like this is one of my like everyday makeup products. Like I'm definitely getting my money's worth. And last lip favorite for 2023 is by Violette FR, and this is the Bisou Balm in the shade Calisson. This is um, kind of the most like matte full coverage of any of them, but it's still in that like really kind of like tinted balm, but matte, kind of like the NARS tinted matte lip balms in a way. It's a very, I, I would say it's almost like an identical formula to that and it has like a really nice kind of cupcake kind of smell. But I'll swatch it next to the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm. So you can see how it has kind of the same type of transparency, but it's matte. And that's why I really like it. It's just so effortless, it's so flattering, and it's just virtually fuss-free. Um, I'm kind of interested in eventually trying the more red shade of this, because I do like the idea of like a kind of bitten red lip that's like a tint of color but I don't have to like really check on it you know but for now this nude shade is my comfort zone and it's the one for me and I also love the little like face on the end here so cute it's so cute but yeah these two I think out of all of them have been my most used like lipstick lipstickish kind of formula in 2023 also, if you're wondering what's on my lips today, I'm wearing the Armani uh, Lip Power Matte in the shade 117. Amazing. Amazing full coverage matte formula without being like, you know, how matte formulas can kind of gather if your lips aren't the most like pristine. I think this is a really great formula and it's so comfortable. Love it. This is very new in my collection, so it's not a 2023 favorite, but uh, just in case you're wondering what's on my lips. Okay, now moving on to eyes. Let's start with mascaras because it's going to be really quick. Um, so one of my favorite mascaras that I tried that was new to me this year was the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I loved it so much. It did kind of have a funny smell to it that I wasn't really into, but the formula, the longevity, the way the brush was like two different types of combs on either side. Absolutely amazing. I used it up. I have yet to repurchase it, um, but I would I would feel um, bad 
about not mentioning it in a 2023 favorites video because I definitely pushed it past the point of expiration because I loved it that much. But I eventually was like, okay, like this is done. This is done. Um, and then my other two were also last year's favorites, the Tower 28 and the Victoria Beckham. You already know. Let's get into the fun shit single eyeshadows. So I really had to call this list because my, I think my most successful video is my favorite one and done eyeshadows. So I feel like a lot of people have come to my channel via that video. So this list is gonna be smaller because I am planning in 2024 to make a new revamped single one and done eyeshadows. Um, video because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I had in that video are now discontinued or not available for purchase. So I want to make something that is 100% like available for purchase. So these are the ones that I tried in 2023 um, that I used through the majority of the year um, that stuck out prom or that were most prominently used by me that were new in my collection. So the first one is from the Chanel Fall and Winter collection, and this is the Ombre Premier Libre uh, Loose Eyeshadow. I have this in the shade uh, 402, which I believe is Cypress? Sycamore? I think it's Sycamore. Anyways, doesn't matter. It's shade 402. I love the smell of it. So it's like this loose pigment. A lot of people didn't really know what to do with this, but I think it's cool. Um, I really like this. So it's a loose pigment in this glass container and it has like the ever so slightest luminescence to it. I really, really think it's lovely. Um, and people don't really like it because it kind of poofs, which I could see how that's like messy, but I think it's just really fun. Um, so it has this little like squishy thing at the top here. And the idea is that you like put it under your hand like so and then you like blend it out. Um, so I find that just kind of taking it onto a brush or like ever so slightly dabbing it onto your eye will give you a really nice mess free effect. You just have to like take the time after you unscrew it to just ever so slightly dab. Like you just have to take a little bit of time with your makeup sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, but I love this color. It's like a warm taupey kind of brown and it blends out so sweetly like it's just like a sweet little product to me i just I've, i really enjoyed using this this year and i think it's a really beautiful formula they have um a lot of colors in this formula and i think they're still for sale on the chanel website um and i, th I just think it's really lovely and you see that like sheen it sits on the eyes beautifully. Like it's a beautiful, beautiful product. And it was definitely a favorite this year. Okay, so we all know that Dior did a sturdy this year with their eyeshadow formulas. Um, and so I had bought this next product before they reformulated the eyeshadows. So I would recommend one that looks like this, but not the new one. You following? Are you following me? 2023 palette that I absolutely adored. And when I say palette, I mean like I don't get anything over five eyeshadows. Like I'm not interested in anything that isn't a quint or a quad. It's just not makeup that I desire. I do not want anything that has more than five eyeshadows. Okay. Anyways, so Soft Cashmere. Soft Cashmere by Dior. Um, loved her loved her. It was, it, it's such a soft, like, elegant looking formula. It's the perfect, like, taupey, grayish kind of looks you can get out of this. Some of the metallics and glitters in here are so, like, elegant and wet looking. It's very, very refined, but the new formula apparently doesn't really hold up to the original your soft cashmere. You can find a plethora of videos on YouTube where they're comparing the formulas and what they would recommend instead in the new formula. Um, but yeah, this Dior soft cashmere in the old formula has definitely been rocking with me. Love it, love it, love it. And um, yeah, it's my favorite palette. It's the only palette in my favorites. So back to the one and done. So next is Phytosurgence. This is the Flash Fluorescence Single Eyeshadow 
in the shade Fractal Freesia. This is a really nice, it's kind of like basic bitch, champagne -y gold, but it's so lovely. Like, it's a really, really lovely product. I think this is a wonderful one and done slash topper, and I found myself using this all the time. I, I truly did. I truly did. I think this formula is really, really dope. And yeah, I think if you're into like a sparkly champagne-y gold, you'll like it. You'll like it. It has just enough like translucent base that it gives it that kind of wet effect to the eyes without it being too much of a statement. But I just think it's so lovely. I love this product. Um, and I found that I was gravitating towards Fractal Freesia over Lunar Light Wave because Lunar Light Wave just looks like Space Cowboy by Urban Decay. And Space Cowboy is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. And it just looked like a chunkier version of that. You know what I mean? Um, so I found myself like going to the one that's a little more its own. You dig? Fractal Freesia by Phyto Sergeants. Um, this next product was such a pleasant surprise because it's such a cool formula. This is the KVD Dazzle Stick in the shade Hail Surge. It's such a cool formula. Like I was expecting to be like, oh, okay, sort of with it, but it's, it's so much more than that. It's a beautiful cream formula in a stick form. So I find that I like to take my finger to it more than like mushing it onto my eyes because as you can see, it's very soft very, very soft, and it's so wet looking. It's just so gorgeous. Um, someone in my comments um, a while ago, and I don't think I ever got back to them, and I apologize for that, um, they asked how similar this was to Space Cowboy, and what I can say is that this is more pigmented and less sparkly. It has as much like wet, like reflectiveness to it, but I would say that this is more of a statement. It's more of, um, it's more pink as well. Um, they're two very different products, two equally as beautiful products, but I would say that if you have one, you don't necessarily need the other, but if you have both, I wouldn't say that you would be sad. <laughs> Um, to answer that person's question. Oh, just look at that. It's so pretty. I love this. I'm wearing it on my eyes today, along with another one and done favorite. And I think that this is just so good. Like this formula, it really is the star of KVD Vegan Beauty. Um, and it was like not for sale for a while. Like it, like they like ran out of stock and like didn't restock for the longest time. And yeah, I'm so happy that they restocked so I could try it and it stays on the eyes all day. It doesn't crease like it's the longevity is there like it's just so good and I highly recommend these. You can see like this doesn't like I just wiped my hand and it's still kind of there. You know, like it's not like it dries down. It's not like a stain or anything, but it like it stays and it's really, really impressive. The next eyeshadow is one of my like I think this is this year's like ultimate favorite eyeshadow and it this one took me even more by surprise than Hail Surge did and this is this little little drugstore product by Moira. This is a, a lucent cream shadow in the shade Jupiter. Now if you like Hail Surge and you like Space Cowboy and you like this kind of like glittery thing going on boy, is this going to be a treat for you. So if you like that kind of tonality and wet looking effect, you will love this shadow. This is like Space Cowboy's alien sister. Ooh, it's so beautiful. It has like this like kind of purpley and green reflect to it. And it just takes an eye look and just like poof, sends it to outer space. I have this on top of um, hail surge today and you can just see I hope the camera is picking it up but it just it just adds like purple and green and just like this really kind of galactic -y fun element to a look and I just I just love that I love this eyeshadow so much it's so like soft and velvety feeling and it just wears really really well it's a really impressive formula I think it's only like eight dollars um I really really love it I'm 
definitely interested in trying more things from Moira in the future. Um, yeah, so mm, the Lucent Cream Eyeshadow in Jupiter, definitely like my favorite eye product that I tried all year. Okay, so that is it. This is the final video of all of my 2023 favorites, and this was eyes and lips. And so I hope you enjoyed, and um, I will link all of the favorite videos down below in a playlist, and I hope you watch and enjoy. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments down below, um, and also share your favorites. I would love to know what your favorites were this year. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!